let's switch topics here to the uh, the question of uh, same-sex marriage and uh, the, the the religious liberty and what's going to what, what can we sort of anticipate now coming down the road? Yeah, well, not good things uh, for people of faith, unfortunately, and that was uh, pretty much made clear by the justices on the Supreme Court, including uh, Justice Alito and Justice Scalia in their dissents. And although there was at least some lip, lip service paid by uh, Justice Kennedy, who wrote the majority opinion about people being able to express their sincerely held religious views on matters of marriage, uh, it really goes beyond just able to express yourself. As you know, Michael, the First Amendment, the first phrase on the First Amendment of the United States Constitution is a free exercise of religion, that people of faith of all denominations, and of course, Catholics with all of our Catholic charities. I think uh, the Catholic uh, organizations and hospitals uh, do uh, more in terms of, for example, AIDS patients than any other uh, denomination. Uh, they're out there in the marketplace and in the public square uh, serving the greater good, and they're doing that from a faith-based perspective. But under this new regime, uh, they should be restricted to practicing their faith only in houses of, of worship, and they're going to be challenged. If they're going to hold certain views regarding sexual morality, uh, they're going to be challenged in the courts as to whether they're going to be entitled to keep doing this good work uh, for people in the service professions because they're going to be looked at and accused of being, and it's happening already, of uh, bigots just like racists in uh, days gone by who w would not treat uh, people of different skin colors equally. And of course, we know that there is a valid distinction to be made between people who are born with immutable physical characteristics like skin color and between people engaged in certain types of sexual practices. Whether they want to say they're born that way or not, we're talking about behavior. Uh, we're not talking about uh, something like skin color that doesn't change. And we all know that behavior can and does change because we're free agents. We're people with free will. And those of us who believe in God believe God will give us the grace to live our lives according to his will. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be told that we can't hold those views and still be good citizens. And courts are already saying that. So that's something that we need to be aware of. And we need to get behind these people who are challenged and are standing up for their convictions, like the, the bakers and the photographers and the people who are renting out halls, and all of whom are being challenged because of their sincerely held religious beliefs concerning the sanctity of marriage and they're being fined and in some cases being told they have to be silent on their views. We can't tolerate that as a free society. And if we want to continue to appreciate our constitutional freedoms the way we've always enjoyed them in this country, now's the time we have to fight for them or we will lose them.